Welcome to the CCI Grand River Podcast. I'm Michelle Dyer. Thank you so much for listening. And thank you to RLB LLP for this awesome podcast studio. Without further ado, I want to tell you about my three guests. One's on the communications committee, one is the chair of the, uh, co-chair of the education committee, and the other one is the chair of the membership committee. I'm going to let them introduce themselves and tell you which committees they are a part of. So hi, my name is Shalyn Seabock. I'm a manager at RLB for the condo team, and I am the chair of the communications committee. My name is Randy Rego. I'm a condominium manager with Wilson Blanchard Management. I am a co-chair of the education committee. I'm Jeff Johns, condominium property manager with G3 Property Solutions out of the Brantford office, and I chair the membership committee. Awesome. Well, welcome all three of you. Thank you so much for joining us today. So let's get down and dirty with the education committee. They got a lot going on this year. So let's start with Randy. January, we or December was the legal panel, which we ended up doing as a podcast, which was such a huge success. Uh, January, we had all things landscaping, which went okay. Yeah, we did that together. <laughs> we did that together. Yeah, that, yes, that's that why good. I kind of, I thought it was excellent. Yeah. <laughs> and then February, we did living in new condos. Tell us a little bit about that one. Tell us a little bit about how that, what the, why that topic? What was the, the, the um, kind of premise of that one? Uh, well, sitting in the education committee with all of us in the committee, uh, I can't remember who exactly brought it up, but just with all the new developments happening in the uh, KW region, uh, the towers being built, um, it was a great idea to put put a session on where it was open to not only just board members, but new uh, owners to the com um, condominium community, living in condominiums, and, um, and just putting a whole session around that and bringing attention and awareness to, to new owners that are living in those communities. Buying a condominium, just sorry, I'm gonna just sidebar now, sure. but buying a condominium in a new build is very different than buying a condominium that's been around for a few years. Uh, for sure, I mean, there's new build, you're going through carry on and, and those sort of aspects, but I mean, um, also just people new to condominium living, Yeah. right? It's not like your single family home. Uh, there's, you know, there's your your documents to follow, your declaration, your bylaws, your rules that people need to get familiar with or not aware of, uh, shared living spaces. So it's just it brings a whole new awareness awareness from single family to people maybe downsizing or being able to afford uh, living moving into a condo and what to expect with that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, what's coming up in March? March, um, I think we have the date of. Uh, March 20th. We don't have all the details finalized, but we're going to be talking oh, about... Oh, it's March 23rd. Is it 23rd? 20, no, 22nd. 22nd, 22nd. Right, yes. Yeah, no, 22nd. Yes. I should probably know that. I should know that, too. <laughs> we're both supposed to be there. Yeah. Um, it's, we're going to be talking about mental health. I think it's yes. overdue. Overdue. Especially recently what's happened in Vaughn. Yeah. Um, it's a hot topic right now, and I think yeah. it's something that needs to be talked about and yeah. addressed. And I think we're going to take that one and turn it into a podcast as well. So um, people that aren't able to make that session, um, we're able to to follow it later on. Because I think it's a really, in my personal opinion, it's a very important topic. Absolutely And is. people need a lot of education on it. Not just property managers or um, board members or owners, but even contractors. There's stuff in there that people aren't aware of from a contractual point of view. Like as our guys landscaping contracts. We may interact with owners that have challenges that we need to understand mm -hmm. and be aware of as well. Correct. All right. That's you got it's a lot going on. All right, what's next? What are other things that we can look forward to in the next six months, eight months? Oh, one of my favorites, we got the um, annual golf tournament coming up. Woohoo! That's in, uh, the fun that we had the um, the golf committee chair Brad on last podcast and he's that's the fun one. <laughs> that's the Decent fun. golfer as well, too. Um, <laughs> hey, longest drive. Thank you very much. Did you? Oh, okay. Absolutely. Very good. <laughs> uh, coming up for the rest of the year, uh, I am drawing a blank, and I can't remember anything. I know we got a lot going on. We got a lot on the agenda, planning the rest of the calendar year. Um, what is the goal of the education committee? And I, and I know it seems <clears throat> pretty simple to say, well, it's to educate, but... I guess it is from all aspects, though. Well, I mean, yes, 
education committee, we are trying to educate, you know, board members, uh, even vendors, trying to reach out to uh, the unit owners um, and getting people to uh, come to these sessions again, so we can educate them on what condo living living is in different aspects, whether it's dealing with your contractors, uh, dealing with legal, um, living beside you know your neighbor. Uh, there's He's playing the stereo too loud. <laughs> for sure, and we do surveys and we reach out to our our, our members uh, to find out what it, what are the hot topics, what you know, what people want to um, learn about what's pressing in their condo. So we try to make it as interactive as possible and try to reach out to them to find out what it is that they want to see at the CCI level as far as education is concerned. That's good, and there is a nominal fee, is there not, to some of these education sessions? Some are free, some are, there is fees involved? Correct, yeah. uh, the session in February, I believe, uh, is, was free and there will be a price, uh, but again, as a member, uh, CCI member with those condos, uh, the, co the board, board members have a set fee, and then unit owners that belong to that condo also can uh, take advantage of those uh, prices as well, uh, as long as the condo is, is a member. Yeah, and what people should know too, just because I know every, oh yeah, of course there's a cost. It's to cover the room. It's to Absolutely. cover like, expenses. Yeah, expenses. Yeah. And just so you all know, we don't get paid to be there. No. No. We don't get paid to the be there. The speakers are getting paid. <laughs> no, know, there's none, none of that. A lot of volunteer um, work going There's on. a lot of volunteer work. Yeah. And um, as as a member of CCI, you know, we want to be there. We want to educate. We want to, um, sorry, I'm just speaking on behalf of contractors. I want a board to understand how it all works. I want a property mm -hmm. manager to understand how, all, uh, how it all works. As a former property manager, I wanted owners to understand how it all works. So the more we educate, the more everybody can work together cohesively to create a great community. Absolutely, not, and not just for board members too, but I know at the session that we did, All Things Landscaping, there were quite a few vendors in the audience, yeah. right? And it's good for them to learn, because, you know, uh, being a vendor for a condo is a different animal, oh, if we very, can say that right. It is. And very when important. you find those contractors that are familiar with condos yeah. and how to work with condos and unit owners, it just makes the whole process a lot easier. Oh, for sure. And even, yeah, that is always a challenge. And coming from a vendor perspective, it's always a challenge to understand the divide. And I don't mean to, to make it seem like it's confrontational, it's not. It's when an owner comes out and says, oh, please don't touch my flower bed, to the board saying, you must touch the flower bed. Like, that's where it starts to, to as a vendor, you need to understand who, and again, for not creating confrontation, but you need to understand who's in control. You need to understand how it all works. Right. Um, and a lot of the vendors don't don't understand the declaration rules and bylaws. Who owns what, who's who responsible for That's right. What, so yes. they need to take their direction from the property manager and or the board of directors, just depending on who's signing the, the contract and who's involved. Sometimes from our perspective, from a landscaping snow removal contract, we do have an on-site person, whether that be the property manager or be the board of director yeah. president or whomever is our contact, where they can report to us to say, hey, you know, you didn't salt that sidewalk you know or you oops you hit that flower bed and you shouldn't have like so it's nice to have that communication but it's nice on our end on the vendor end to understand how it works so that when you know sally in unit 23 calls and says you didn't weed my garden and then you know we don't have that con we go in and weed her garden then we find out oops that garden's hers and she should have weeded it that's right oops. yeah yeah right yeah. so that's where it all comes part and parcel and that's where the education committee really does well, at least in my opinion. It's to, to understand and really be diverse in the education session so that it includes property managers, board members, owners, Contractor vendors, vendors, contractors. Yeah. It, it's all encompassing. Correct. And I think if, if you're looking to join CCI Grand River, that is to me one of the biggest reasons to join. There's lots of reasons to join, don't get me wrong, but at the education sessions are really this, this up here compared to some of the other ones I've seen throughout my work life. Can I just say don't think, just just join. Just join. Just join. There's just so join. many good benefits. It's, it's really easy Absolutely. to do too. You can even like click yeah. on the show page and click the link right to CCI yeah. Green River and you can join like that. It's so simple. Yeah. All right. Thanks Randy. I Thank appreciate you. it. All right. Jeff, let's talk about the membership committee since 
that's just that worked out really well, didn't it? How we just went into that. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the membership committee. So, your goal obviously is to increase membership. Correct. Right? So, tell me a little bit about why, as a board member slash property manager slash owner slash vendor, I should be a member of CCI. Well, like Randy said, there's many benefits of education and training that uh, owners, board members, contractors can, can obtain through through the different courses and seminars that CCI uh, offers. So I, I, I personally, I think it's a, a great asset for all those people to take advantage of. And don't forget the networking. There's well, yeah. some fun. This yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of fun networking <laughs> things that, that go on as well. That's yeah. it. So, how is the membership committee um, working toward building members? Well, one thing we're looking at doing here in at the end of March, we're doing the uh, KW Home Show. We're going to have a booth there. Oh, great um, idea! And we're also at the end of April, we're doing the Brantford Home Show as well with a booth there to great just idea. to try and introduce. Uh, make, well, not only introduce, but just keep the name out there of CCI Grand River Chapter out to to those areas to say like, hey, come on. Hopefully people will come out, we can give them some information if they're not familiar, or just re-educate them, or uh, just let them know that, hey, we're still out here, and here's your opportunity to get some, some information, and these are some of the different things that will be ha that'll be going on through with CCI throughout the year. And the advantages of being a member, right? Then you'll, you'll definitely yeah. promote that. Yeah, now, being at the home shows is a great idea because you've got a bunch of builders out there too. Exactly. So you go knocking on them doors. Well, you, you, got, really help, you, you, got, you got builders <laughs> and landscapers and yeah. uh, different trades and you're potentially getting at different uh, condo owners and yeah. even if, say... Well, you you might you might even have tenants of people that are for sure that hey they may learn something and they may pass it on to their to their owner of their unit yeah. and say hey here's here's some more information for you that might might help you out as well. That's so. a great idea. So are people going to be able to sign up at these shows? Like are they like right there and there they can sign up to to be a part of yes. the membership committee? That's great. That's a good idea. I like that. I'm, I'm very intrigued. We'll talk. <laughs> As I look at our videographer going, hey, remind me to tell, ask about this. <laughs> um, so what about some online presence? I see more and more, um, you know, if you follow our socials, we're seeing more and more, we're promoting the fact that, you know, become a member, become a member. Um, are, are we seeing more of that this year? Are we going to see that still that um, social media presence? Uh, I would say so, yes. We've, we have seen a, an uptick of, uh, close, uh, close to sixteen percent increase in membership this year versus last year. So, we as a membership committee, we have goals. Um, I believe we've reached our, attained our goal for this year. Next year's for goals like twenty twenty three. For for yeah for okay, we ending twenty twenty three. It's only March, not even. Yeah, it's only well, March. Oh. <laughs> it's still well, year. we work well. We work hard at trying to get get membership, yes, and do. we're already uh, and in March we're going to start preliminary discussions uh, as a membership committee of what are some different things uh, things and ideas that we could maybe implement to try and increase membership even more. Is there a target? market members like are you looking to see more membership in property managers in vendors and like is there any or all um, of the above i would say all of the above of course we want to try and get as many new owners as possible yeah. but it's also good to get um vendors and professionals and business people like just sort of grow it uh overall across the board yeah and then as as a member um, and you've talked about a little bit about the advantages that, that we have as members, but is there anything that as a member that I can do to help the membership committee create more members? <laughs> I know that sounds really, that's a very long question, but is there anything we can do as members to help? I'm sure there is. I can't think of what that might be off the top of my head right I'm gonna now. I'm going to say but do a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um, People can always submit their suggestions, I guess, as well uh, online through the through the CCI email, things like that. And I'm yeah. sure the different committees would would look at those suggestions as depending on on who it's a, a 
applicable to and and go from there. I'm going to throw out an idea and then you can bring it back to the membership committee. Okay. okay. I'm going to throw out an idea and incentive program where if you bring in a new member, you get something. Well, yeah. yeah uh, uh, what we have what we have right now for this year with it being the fifth year is there's uh, a free membership to new condos. See, that's important to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's something that we implemented this year. If, so, you're, if you're a brand new condo or like first time, like a first time uh, CCI member, or you haven't been a member in, in a number of years, the we are offering a, a, a that first year free. Oh, After that, cool. there's a cost, yeah, of, of course. course, but it at least allows them to get their feet wet, kind of thing, to to see what CCI is all about. Well, I think that's a great idea because it brings in new members, and then they can see what. CCI has to offer, and then exactly. if you're not a member after that, I think you're all nuts. Because you, you do, you need to be a member, you do. Like as a, as a condominium, we can all attest to this, as servicing condominiums, it's really important we're members of, of CCI. It, it just, it, there's a, um, a degree of professionalism being a part of this, um, uh, uh, being a part of the chapter, um, not to mention, like I said, the networking. Um, there's a lot of advantages to membership. Absolutely. So, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. All right. So then, now we're going to go over to Shalyn here, who's going to tell us how, how are you communicating all of this to everybody? <laughs> well, a lot of the stuff that Jeff kind of said we're doing through social media. So, yes, you asked about the social media presence. Yeah. Um, that's kind of the whole of the communications committee. Um, where we very much press the whole um, like, share, and subscribe, um, and share all of our posts on LinkedIn, Facebook, Insta, Twitter is not really that that much use. But um, <laughs> what do you mean it's not that much use? Is because <laughs> did Mr. Musk upset it's, us or what? <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't seem to get it a lot just, of traction. It just doesn't seem to get a lot of traction. Okay. LinkedIn seems to be our, our best cool. platform. I think that's where a lot of the professionals are, are going to for yeah, information. Of course, of course yeah. Um, and that kind of stuff. Although we we do reach all of the the main platforms, but I think we're also we might be diving into TikTok as well. Um, I'm excited about to, that To one. hop on that bandwagon yeah. um, and see how that goes. Because really, social media, we're, as much as we're trying to reach all of the different kinds of members out there, the ownership, or the owners of condominiums are starting to get younger. So yeah. we need to find different ways to attract and get our information out there to the people who don't read magazines or maybe go to home shows and that kind yeah, of thing, right? Yeah, well, and TikTok's one of the, the biggest ways. Biggest I know, right we're now. so going to dance, I'm telling you. Every <laughs> podcast we do, we're going to do a little TikTok dance. We're going to put it up there. I swear it's going to be a blast. I can't wait to see, like, the lawyers start... The lawyers, yeah. <laughs> the auditors. Yeah, like I mean, that. the auditors. That's it. You know what? We'll do it beforehand so that everybody, everybody comes into the podcast, including myself, takes a deep breath because a little bit of nerves, right? When you're doing a podcast and they're not, you know, not used to it. And even to this day, I still get a little nerves around doing stuff like that. So to do a little dance beforehand and post that on TikTok, that would relax everybody. And then, of course, Randy, you suggested shots of tequila. I was going to say, cheers or whatever, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what the, which Jeff said that he was into. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what else does the communications committee have on tap for this year? What are your goals? Um, our goals is to still increase membership through the through that platform, of course. Um, we put out blogs regularly as well um, that are written, a lot of them, by our uh, professional committees, like um, our experts that we have as members, um, so that we, we know the condominium industry and we can kind of provide that insight, as well as the advice of what people might be looking for the the contractors the owners the boards the property managers the blogs are good i like the blogs mm -hmm. it's a quick read most of them are, are really well written and and is a quick read and yep. and just um really informative yeah right um how do it all plays out all the committees mm -hmm. the, all work together in sync. So we already heard the education committee, followed by, you know, if you educate, 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 the membership will grow, 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 and then you communicate all of that, mm -hmm. right? So how do you see it from a big picture point of view for the next year? How do you see all of the committees working together? Well, Go. if I can, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, just listening to everyone, I it, it's just a big circle, and they all yeah. kind of feed each other, really. Mm -hmm. Uh, with you know, with membership, you know, I, as you're bringing more people on board, and I think the people that are involved with CCI, and I've said this um, at our education committee 
meetings, it's all about pr promotion. You gotta sometimes put your sales hat on and just yeah. promote, promote, promote. Yeah. Without promoting, without that, you know, uh, letting people know, you're not getting new members, you're not getting people to come out to the education uh, seminars, uh, communications um, committee, we're spreading the word. Yeah, there you go. you're spreading it's the word, but but if no one's, if you're not spreading to the right right avenues, right. you're not going to get the members to sign up. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get the education seminars because you're not. And I, you know, hate to put money on it, but you're not going to be able to afford it. You're not going to be able to rent the rooms to have these um, live education sessions or to have, you know. Even the the virtual ones, you're not going to have that the the um, uh, resources to do that. So they all have to work part and parcel together, including all the other committees that we had on the previous podcast: a professional partners committee, the golf committee, the uh, conference committee. All work, all of that work. Even that boring committee. Which one's that one with all of the policies and procedures for Gover governance? Uh, yeah, the governance committee. Yeah. Even the governance committee has to pay attention to what's going on in the market, in at the CAO level, at the CMRAO level, at CCI National to understand and relate back down to our chapter um, so that we can increase membership, so For we sure. can communicate to the owners and, and board exactly. members and property managers. I think it all works part and parcel together. I mean, as a property manager, maybe divulging a little bit of a secret here, when I'm working with a condo and if it's a new condo and working on the budget, the, the membership fee is it's minimal it's, to their overall budget. Um, I, I don't Chandra, you could probably attest to this as you audit a lot of these yeah. financials. Um, and I basically tell boards this is non-negotiable. There's so many good benefits. Yeah. So as you're bringing on new members, it helps the membership committee. And then at new members, you're getting more people to come up to these sessions. There's you know more networking. So we're, getting, we're always just trying to branch out, but again, I always promote that to my boards and I get a lot of my boards to come up to these different sessions, um, which mm -hmm. just helps CCI in general. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just to touch upon, as a former property manager, when I would do budgets, the same thing. That, that yeah. CCI line item, it's, minimal. It, it's a rounding error in some of the condos I used to manage. It's really? A, it's, it's, a, it's a couple it, hundred dollars a year. That's what I mean. Yes. That's if a that, rounding if error. If, yeah, if yeah, that. Like, Dep depending on the size. If it's right. a small one, it's less than it's that. Less than if that. it's a larger one, yeah, it might be a couple hundred yeah. dollars a year. Well, a couple, like, couple hundred dollars a year is could be like, is no different than, say, renting a room for your annual general meeting. It might well, even be cheaper. Actually. It's yeah. actually cheaper yeah. to do yeah. that. Yeah. And yeah. Then guess what? You'd have a professional partners to talk to that right. you could maybe get a room, mm -hmm. you know, at a, at a cost rate right. rather mm -hmm. than paying that. Because you now have um, a networking uh, community that can help you get that AGM room, right? right? Yeah. Um, like RLB <laughs> and, our, and our lovely podcast in the studio. It, that's how it works, right? Yeah. So yeah, it, to me, it's a lot. That line item could be, like I said, a rounding error. Sometimes it's who you know, not what you know. Well, that's it. I and know what we always we always press all the time is you want to go with professionals who understand the condominium industry, whether that right. be lawyers, engineers, auditors, um, you know, insurance, like uh, all of those, and and that's where all the members of the CCI that's your direct link to, to finding those experts in the field. And well, that's who uh, board members yeah. should be leaning on right. is those professionals. Yeah, right? well, because they're educated. Correct. But uh, like, as a vendor that services condominiums, I can tell you that it, I, I can tell the difference in a contract when I drive by a condominium with a vendor that isn't quite understanding what type of property it is. Whether that's a, a high rise, mid rise, or a townhouse, there is just a difference. It's a different animal than a residential or your typical rental apartment or that sort of, it, it's just a different animal. And there's a different expectation. <laughs> and that's the other thing too, with CCI members, the education and communications and membership committees and all these other committees, it really does help to to create expectations for the board members, for property managers, about what each and every element does. Correct. Meaning mm -hmm. that if you're sitting in an education um, seminar and you're not sure if you should be in condominiums as a vendor, well, we saw that in, in all, land, all things landscaping. Yes, we, we had vendors come in yeah. and they 
pick my brain afterwards to discuss. You're asking the right uh, questions. That's it. Yeah. And they're like, okay, so what if I did this and what if I did that? There's also what the insurance is. There's a whole different insurance liability yeah. from a contractor point of yeah. view and from a even from a condo for insurance. Like it becomes a very different ball game, you know, other than just shoveling residential driveways. So there is a big difference. And to have a network that you can fall upon that and call out people and say, hey, I'm part of CCI, I need some help, I need some guidance, can you help me yeah, do that? Yeah, absolutely. And that's what we're all here for, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I can call Shallon and say, Shallon, I don't <laughs> understand this audit. <laughs> and we'll help you with that. And, and she'll help me with that. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, each and every one of you. Really appreciate you being here today. Shallon, thank Randy, you. Randy. Thank Jeff. you very much. Thank you thank so much. You. And thank you for tuning in. Remember... If you like us, click the like button. If you don't like us, don't tell anybody. Just tell us what we're doing wrong, and you can do that by clicking on the CCI Grand River link in the show pages. Just like I, it. Just like it. Yeah. Just like it. <laughs> I'm Michelle Dyer. Thank you so much for listening.